In this video, we're going to talk about Binaya Mori Mobile with AC electrical arcing. First of all, you should make sure that the model is benign and removed for aesthetic reasons only. Please bear in mind that the only way anyone can have 100% certainty that a mole or a growth are indeed benign is by a histological examination. However, histological examination for each and every mole or each and every growth are indeed impractical. So what happens in reality is that the trained eye is able to tell whether a mole or a growth are indeed benign or not. If someone thinks that a mole or a growth are not benign, then a biopsy is performed and sent to the lab for confirmation. And only after that confirmation, anyone can have 100% certainty that that growth or that mole was indeed benign or not. Remember to have the consent form discussed with the client and signed. Also, we recommend you do not make any promises of scar-free results because as you remember, the aftercare is out with your control. In terms of aftercare, remind the client to avoid any infections, avoid the use of plasters and let the scab form by itself three to four days after the treatment and that should fall off on its own. Also avoid direct sun exposure and apply sunscreen at least for two to three months after the treatment to avoid hyperpigmentation. So, how to perform mole removal by using AC electrical arcing? At the end of this video, we're going to watch a very interesting clip where we're going to show you how electrical arcing is applied for mole removal in a real case. So everything we talk about here is going to be corroborated by a real example later on in the video. For now, remember to apply numbing cream on the mole to make the procedure more comfortable to your client. And once the mole is numb, you can start the procedure. Now, when you start the procedure, if you're an experienced user, you can use the top power level if the mole is thick. This is done in order to make the procedure quicker for you. If you're a non-experienced user, it is advisable to use the minimum power level in any case to acquire experience. So, let's assume you're an experienced user, you apply the top power level and you start the spray operation onto the top of the mole and every time you spray you're going to create carbon residues. Every time you have carbon residues, wipe them off with a cotton pad impregnated with non-flammable antiseptic. So, and repeat the procedure up until you're quite close to the skin level. When you're close to the skin level, then run the tip of your finger onto the mole to appreciate how close you are and at that point lower the power level of the device to the minimum in order to have the maximum degree of precision of operation and continue the spray operation in minimum level up until and keep wiping it off wipe off, wipe off the carbon residues up until the mole is completely level with the surrounding skin area. At that point, you're finished, apply an antiseptic cream and the client can go home. In here, we represented the mole in this way as if it's sitting just on top of the skin. And this is true for many moles, including keratosis. Keratosis just sit on top of the skin and they're very easily removed in one a spray operation only, especially because they're not very thick. However, some benign moles or benign growths sit in the skin in this way. That is to say, if in black we have the skin level of the epidermis, then some benign growths will sit between the epidermis and the dermis. And if you just level them off the way we just told you, what you're going to have at the end is this, that is to say, the benign growth or the mole is still there inside uh, the skin between the epidermis and the dermis. So when it heals or when the part recovers, um, the mole will be more superficial 
and will reappear again, but will be more superficial, will not be inside the skin as it was before. So then you will have to treat it again, remove it again, leaven it off again, if you wish, in order to improve its appearance later on. And you may need to repeat the process a number of times in order to remove it completely. So having the knowledge of the type of benign growth you're dealing with is very important if you want to be able to remove a benign growth in one session only. Because if you do know, then you can go a bit deeper and remove it completely in that one session only. And if you do so, then the result is going to be extremely good. You have removed it in one session only. And when the area has recovered and the scab has, has formed, has fallen off, then the mole or the benign growth is gone. So you don't need to do the, the work uh, twice or three times. Finally, in this representation here, we show you a cross-section of what would be a keratosis, which is quite similar to what we represented here. As to say, the mole in here was sitting directly on top of the skin. And in the case of a keratosis, what you do is set the device at level one and you spray gently on it and a simple um, wiping off of the carbon residues by using the cotton pad impregnated with the non-flammable antiseptic should suffice in order to remove it completely. Now, thank you very much for watching and enjoy the next clip.